Good morning, students of class nine. So welcome back to the online portal now. Let's continue our lesson, lesson eight from supplementary reader. We are doing a house is not a home. Here, lesson eight, a house is not a home. So in our previous class, we have learned about the introduction, about what is the story all about, and. From today, let's begin our lesson, the story. So this lesson teaches us a lot of things that we must not lose our hope. There are ups and downs in the life and uh, we must face all the ups and downs of the life with courage. And uh, many times we lose <coughs> a lot of things we lose our near and dear ones, we lose most of the things or sometimes we lose everything but we should not feel sad throughout our life. We must start our life fresh afresh again. So here, now let us begin. I have written over here seven, eight points. We will begin one by one. It was Sunday. It was Sunday after returning from the church. Since they were Christian, the story is from foreign countries, from outside. After returning from the church, he opened his shoes and sat down at the dining table to do his homework. And his cat, his pet cat, climbed on the table and sat down beside him. So he sat down at the dining table to do his homework. It was quite early in the morning. His pet cat, he had a pet cat, lay on the table. The cat climbed on the table and lay down there and watched the writer doing his homework. As the writer was doing his homework, his pen, his pen moved. So naturally the pen moves while doing the writing and the cat thought that the writer is playing. So frequently, very often the cat used to swat at the, swat at the pen. The cat wants to play actually. So the pet cat lay down on the table and watched the writer doing his task. He was doing his homework. The cat frequently, frequently means very often swat at the moving pen. The pen was moving, the cat used to play with the pen. It was in a mood to play. The cat was in a mood to play. The cat was quite playful. Very often the cat was disturbing the writer while he was doing his homework because the cat thought that the writer was playing. As the pen moved, the cat frequently swat at the then, just then, his mother entered the room, since it was quite uh, cold, it was early winter, and the mother entered the room and stroke the fire. Stroke means to strike the wood, stroke the fire that was burning in the fireplace, hearth, in the fireplace on the wall, there was a fireplace. And mother came and stroked the wood so that it will burn nicely. Since the day was quite cold, it was early winter. And after some time, after some time, the writer noticed the smoke coming out from the seam of the ceiling. Seam means the joint. The joint of the ceiling. That's called a seam. Since the house was made of wood, it was a wooden house, there was a ceiling and from the seam of the ceiling he saw the fire, uh, smoke coming out. The writer, after some time the writer noticed the smoke coming out from the seam, seam with joint of the ceiling. Soon quickly the smoke filled the room. Quickly the Room was filled with smoke, unable to see anything. So, 
the writer was worried. Do you know what has happened? While the mother was stroking the fire, some of the spark must have entered the ceiling and there it started burning. But the writer didn't notice he was doing his homework and mother was also doing some household work. She stroked the fire and went to do her household work. But the spark from the fire must have entered the ceiling from the seam and caught fire. That's why the smoke was coming out from the ceiling, from the top, from the attic, top of the ceiling. So, very soon the room was filled with smoke. It was difficult to see anything. The room was filled so quickly with the smoke and the smoke began to pour very quickly and the writer could not see anything. Just then mother came running and pushed him out of the house. Both of them, mother and son, rushed out of the house as they came out in the yard, into the yard. Mother pushed him out of the room and both of them, both means mother and the writer, both of them ran out into the yard. Yard means open space outside in the compound. The whole house was burning there on top. When they came out, they saw the roof. The roof of the house was started burning. The house was burning. His mother rushed back into the house. The writer was unable to think. What is happening? He could not think. He was dazed, you can say that. But mother rushed inside. And very soon came out with a small box, holding, clutching the small box, she rushed out of the house. The box contained the letters of his father. And after keeping the box, she again rushed inside. And the writer was watching his house burning, his house caught fire. He was watching the house, his house was burning and he was watching. And mother rushed inside. Writer could not think what mother is doing, what he has to do. He was dazed. And mother rushed inside and came out with the photo frame of his father. His mother rushed back into the house to take out some important documents. What were the documents? Those were the letters written by his father. Important documents. The whole roof was burning at the time as the house was made of wood. It was a wooden house, so the roof top portion of the house was burning. Mother rushed inside and took out a small box containing documents, some documents, important documents. What were those important documents? Those were the letters actually the writer's father has written to his mother. Mother came out with a small box containing his father's letters, the small tin, a box containing his father's letter and after keeping the box he again rushed inside she again went in and came out with his father's photo frame so father's photo frame and she came she again rushed inside third time and the writer was about to rush behind his mother mother don't go don't go and as the writer was about to run behind his mother, a strong hand caught him. He looked, he was, a, he was a fireman. The fireman had come because when he rushed out of the house, he went to the neighbors and told about his, uh, about the event that his house caught fire and someone from the neighbor rang the police uh, fire brigade and the fireman caught the writer when mother rushed inside the third time he wanted to rush behind her to pull her out the fireman said don't go don't go don't worry we'll bring out bring your mother out so some of the firemen rushed inside and they wrapped mother in a blanket or in a thick cloth and took her out she could not save anything the third time. She rushed inside twice. First, she saved the 
important documents that small box containing his father's letter second time she rushed inside and took out the photo frame of his father and the third time she could not save anything as the house was quite burning it was the fire was blazing and the fireman took her out and supplied oxygen to her she was almost fainted almost fainted and they sat down mother and son sat down and watched their house burning so we'll continue in our next lesson in our next class what happens after that so this much for today you go through this properly go through online portal and uh, pay attention when you are watching the online portal and try to understand what is happening in the chat so that's all for today we'll meet in the next class and continue our lesson thank you for watching so attentively and for being with me in this class thank you very much we'll meet again